Sounds good. Hello, everyone. RJ here, one of your fellow co-writers of Thomas the Tank Engine's End of Your Adventures. Joining me is my cohort, Fantastic Scott, Street. a.k.a. Fantastic. And Stop joining us. Hello, everyone. RJ here, one of your. Sorry about that. And today. Oh, enjoy. Today oh, we're going to be uh, we're going to continue writing uh, our seventeenth episode, as well as doing a bit more work on Top Gordon. And joining, joining us this stream is Ricardo the Blue Engine. You might know him as Trains Mania. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Glad to be in the stream with Scott and RJ. We're kind of a United Nations right now, but better. And less political. Much less political. Well, I also know more as Ricardo here in streams and discords. But my YouTube channel, yeah, is that Trace Mania 2020. And even though I know some of you might be skeptical of him, but uh, Ricardo here really has grown as both a person and actually a modeler. In fact, He's actually joined our team as uh, as an additional modeler. He's done a great job so far. Not to mention yeah. he helped uh, he helped out with updating Roderick's uh, wheels. Exactly. I really thank you for that for letting me do that, Scott. Yeah. What are friends for? Thank you. Also, I'm testing then right now in Train Simulator. Well. Trains in the era. Ah. They love, and I, for what I could see, the engines love it. <laughs> oh, I certainly love what you've done so far. Well, one detail I must confess about the driving wheels. I, I remember those Though the Steam Team models that I've been making, that I changed the service. Actually. Well, I copied the bogies of the Gordo that I was making for make Roderick's wheels. Hmm. Well, it's not bad. I mean, that's what we did uh, when making uh, Roderick's original wheels. Well, actually, we reskinned uh, Gordon's 2006 wheels to look like Roderick. But now that That's Roderick's baked and uh, we have someone here who knows how to do valve gears, I figured it was time him for uh, to make Roderick look more original, so to speak. Yes, he looks better so far. No more riskings in a new model. Tell me about it. Still, did you count the riskings? Uh... About the reskins? Yeah, what do you think about the reskins? Of of each uh, of each character, you know, turned into e pretty much reskins that are of the engines that are turned into original characters, so to speak. Like our reskins, like uh... of Riley. Well, not only yours, but also from other people. Well, you had to. Is there any words about them? I don't mind them. It's just uh, we're just reusing pre-existing faces without, uh, you know, without modifying them at all. Then that's when I get turned off by them. I yeah. see. And I want, I like my original characters to have personality. Like yeah, I... multiple character traits that make them stand out. Speaking of original characters, I must have given a new an attitude to my own Roderick, the middle of railway spinner. Huh. Number four six seven three. No, he's six seventy three. That's what I meant. Just a different way of saying it. Oh, yes, you are coming to say language as Brandon. Uh, let's see. 
Hmm. So how is this episode going along? The script, I mean. Are you talking about uh, the one we're working on now or uh, episode 11? Apart from episode 11, including this one. Oh, episode 11 is already uh, in the second draft stages. I've already st already uh, added a lot of music to it and special effects. All we need now are some more eye, are the eye animations, some more music. Uh, Got to add in a few more special effects and uh, Lizzie's and lines. Yes, well, and the cat's lines. That should be good to go. The world also count other sound effects, right? Only for the game. What do you say? I mean, you know how other people use sound effects in their videos, engine sounds, whistles, and all that. Yeah, we're doing a combination of those things. Yeah, with the sounds of the game, a uh, few ones, like couplings, crashes, all that, right? Yeah, we're using uh, the sound from, uh, from the trains game, as well as additional uh, sound effects from the show, wherever it's needed, of course. That doesn't make sense. Damn right, Rob. Damn right. Can you hear the dog okay. in the background? That was just uh, that was just my stepmom. Oh, it's your pet. No, that's no, that not was it. That, that's, that's my dog, pet. Willow. Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot. She's a mini dog, and she tends to be a bit of a barker. That does make sense. She's a bit of a bark alarm. So to speak. Mm. Kind of like my dog. Uh, my dog is more crazy. More fact, crazy? <laughs> she, I mean, she is a pretty crazy one. She's a pug, actually. A pug? Yeah. <laughs> Only, uh, I ahead. think, I, I think now we're nine months old. And she still keeps himself crazy, the same attitude as his mother. Well, there's still, well, it takes a while for dogs to, you know, mature as a, under, they don't become full grown dogs until they're at least a year old. Yeah, I, yeah, I know that as well. Although I like the, like those kind of dogs, but I think also my favorites are golden retrievers. Mm. You know, what would Mr. Cavendish say? And also, maybe someday ahead, maybe I can do a new version for Stevenson's coaches, the ones that appear in the episode of the Battlefield Central. Stevenson so the Battlefield's flyer. Well, why? Yeah, we've, I think they look fine. Well, just for, uh, just in case. I mean, technically, they are reskins of the Red Branch line coaches. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. They're actually cool. Also, since I got permission of the models, should I say, it's that I got few problems with we remember himself, including Stevenson, the tenders, and even from the bogey wheels and the face textures because I used trains in the era. But they got, but they got all them solved. That's good, at least. Good mark. Wait, mark. No time. Yeah, because we 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 do realize everyone doesn't have the same version of trains as us. You know, I mean, it's not possible for everyone to have trains 2010. But I do also love that game. I used to play that a lot. 
But since I got a PC gamer and Trains in the Era is the game that I that I bought, I been using that game ever game ever since. Oh, and Mason wants to join us. All right. Send him in. Okay. Just let me get the link. Hey, Mason. It's a thing RJ and I like to do sometimes. Oh, and Glenn, let me up. Just wait one second. Everyone, I will. Let me just let. <laughs> you never got tired to do that always, are you? No, he nope. does. Just don't be a simp. <laughs> uh, that was an off putting joke. I'm surprised that also Roderick has his own number. Well, we wanted to How give him doing. Yeah, I wanted to give him a number that made sense instead of eight four eight seven four five six. Or I can't remember. Five what four six. Five four six. Yeah. Yeah, because after a while, it gets very confusing. And essentially, at the time, the original engines that worked on the Northwestern Railway were mostly from the eastern region. Yep. Like Rachel, Roderick, Gordon, Henry, and Alfred. Yep. Is that true that Alfred and Roderick, after, after what we saw in the episode, Rachel, the Ray High Speed Engine, they do learn their lesson, right? Yes, they do. Yep. Oh, that's oh, that's great. In other versions, everyone. In other versions, they say that that when. Oh, hello, Glenn. Hello there, boys. Hey, I'm Glenn. Falling here. Hello, RJ. Hello, Ricardo. Oh, and it's it really is a pleasure, you know. I. First time I've, well, I mean, I've been doing streaming like this, but I mean, it's an honor to join you for the first time, RJ. And also, hello there, fan. Hello there, fans to the MS. Yeah. Fans nice to see you. MS. Nice to meet you, Glenn. Yeah. And hello, Mason. Oh, it, hello, actually, Scott. you might believe it. it uh, you know, the guy on, on the um, Twitter thing that was that was congratulating you for all you know, the uh, event mm -hmm. you were doing when you were speaking to the uh, German of Sodor? That was me. The what of Sodor? German, you know, German, German, you know German, when I was, oh yeah, the guy, that, the guy that was congratulating you for what you uh, for it was, and yeah, for the effects you were using and whatever it was you were filming on uh, for the next upcoming thing, yeah, that was that was me. Oh, well, yeah, we'll pass yeah, on just, thanks to thanks to him. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, like I said, I'm hoping and I'm hoping and praying that Jerome, you know, who's a very old friend of mine. I'm hoping his um, COVID test comes back by negative. I've got my fingers crossed right now because when I read it on his Twitter thing, I was a little bit concerned. Ugh. Hopefully, hopefully the test comes back positive because... You mean negative? Uh, I mean, yeah, I hope it's a negative and it'll be a positive outcome in the end. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Oh, we all are. Because I'm worried. Good guy. I know. I haven't had mine tested done yet, but the thing is I've got no symptoms. So, but the thing is, because I have a bit of uh, anxiety, just in case, because 
you know, it would be better to get over with. And then the other thing, I could just, just breathe off a sigh of relief because it's been irritating me ever since we had the lockdown here in England. But funny yeah. enough, it hasn't affected me, like, as you would think. Because um, because I haven't lost anybody in my family to it yet. That's the thing. She's kind of strange. But anyways, like I said, I'm sorry about that. I just had to get that off my sister, off my chest there for a bit. And uh, anyway, you guys can continue on. I'm just going to get settled in. I'm just finished having my dinner. So, right. how's everyone doing today? Doing good, Mason. <clears throat> Pretty fine. I- Doing great as well. Just recovered from an awful migraine. Ouch. How was, the COVID-19- How was the COVID-19 for some of you guys? Scott, Man, RJ, and Mason. I'm handling it okay. I'm handling no, it I, fine. No, I Here in Mexico, well. we're handling this well. We yeah. coach well, but here's the thing. Apparently, because where I live, because I'm near a town in Longbridge. Yeah, that's where I live in. Um, apparently the, uh, it kind of spiked again a little bit and it came out of nowhere. We don't know exactly where in Longridge, but it was taken quite seriously. It just like shot from out of nowhere, but it does seem like it's kind of dropped. But yeah, that's why I've been wearing my face mask wherever I go. But good news is that I've always got my, uh, hand analyzer, hand analyzer. This is what I'm using. Hand sanitizer. Yeah, this is what I use every time I come in contact with anything. At least we don't have to wear gloves. At least the good news is we don't have to wear our gloves anymore, apparently. Well, there are some who still do, but the thing is it doesn't matter because as long as you have your hand tied by the thing, you'll be fine. Also, what do you have to say about my new... about my face meshes engines? Pretty cool. I liked your, I liked your American thing, by the way, Ricardo. I forgot to tell you that when I was in my last stream, so... Uh, my apologies if I didn't say that, you know, we're giving you the uh, right quick where it was. It was pretty impressive. Hey, Glenn. Well, hey there, Manson. I know. Uh, I'm it's sorry been quite for a while. blocking you. I'm sorry for blocking Dude. you. I'll unblock you Dude. after the stream. It's just, I, I just, Dude. like, yeah. Also, uh, my name is LT96 Thompson. Uh, we actually don't have any major voice rules open right now. I right, just so, that. okay. Very well. Oh, hey, Madsen, look, dude, it's okay. I forgive you, man. You made a mistake. We all do that in life. It's all right. I was just going to ask, is it me, Madsen, or is that Paxton, the uh, diesel I see in your icon? Yeah, that, that's me, Paxton. Cheerio. <laughs> wow, you seem to be a big fan of that character. I, I don't am. think I asked you that before. <clears throat> that's all right. It's okay, man. Too bad he's not in the 24th series. No, I've already just recently. No, he is in the fourth series, just he doesn't speak in it. Well, I've just I recently just say. downloaded Paxton in my uh, Trains 12 anyway, because I was a little hesitant, but then I realized he could come in multi liveries. I thought, hmm, that might come in handy, because mm. then I can use him for multi diesels of his kind. Paxton is actually the opposite of diesel, and thank goodness he yeah, is. Yeah, he is. He's well, more of a kind and friendly diesel, like. Salty, Derek, Foco, Rusty, the yeah. other ones as well. But when we first met him, he wasn't like as we thought he was. He was almost like Diesel in a mirror image at one point because he did wear his livery, according to what I saw in the model that that the uh, guys made him as. And then he had like then we saw him in the Great Race livery, which I think I think that was the first time we saw him, if I'm correct. Just just can, can anyway try and get my memory uh, jogged right a bit because uh, I think it was 2016 when he when he was in that film. Mm. Also, one thing I noticed about Remembers and Roderick, they are nearly almost the same color. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just, I noticed I've that. just been watching. Again, that was the that was RJ's choice. Yeah, funny <laughs> enough, that same blue. So funny enough, that same shade of blue came from early models, MST noodle models of Thomas and Gordon. I thought well, it was. Yeah, I remember those as well. Although I never played oh with any God. trains back then, and I never had trains. Oh, um, funny enough, you got you just brought up a bunch of trivia, RJ, that I haven't told anybody. Apparently, you kind of maybe remember something way back. Apparently, the model of Gordon's noodle, noodle form, 
Apparently, you know how big he looks because he had a big boiler compared to the other ones because it's like really long. Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny because that's the exact chat. That's how very similar my OS, my OC has a little bit almost, just it's not in Mikado form, but it was the closest that I had at the time. And uh, yeah, I was a modified class 40 diesel. Well, let's huh. just say also that Glenn oh. is OC here, he's almost long as, as long as Rachel is. My OC is a modified class 40 diesel hmm. that I told Brandon about. Also, Scott, RJ, remember the the British Rail Gas Turbine 3 that I was making? Oh, yes. I remember you yeah, carried that. Work. Well, it's still a work in progress and it's still not the works, you know, Blender. So, mm -hmm. I'm not sure when uh, it will go on the, on the trains. Mm, but it will come amazing. I'll promise that. Well, oh, I see you. I see. I see your stream things called behind the smoke and steam episode seventeen and top Gordon writing stream. Oh, well, that's all about. Well, hey there. Um, <clears throat> may I talk or something? Yeah. Actually, I uh, was. Uh, let talk. me finish. Uh, talk Gordon. Uh, you go first, Mason. I was going to tell Scott and RJ about an episode idea I had in mind to share for NWR Adventures if they're okay with me sharing my idea. Well, let's hear it. Well, it's about, well, it's about Bulgy and George meeting up for the first time ever and like talking and like talking about not only talking up about their similarities against railways and all that other jazz but them like ragtag teaming up to stir up trouble around the Osborne and Harwick uh, well, that's not a bad stuff. idea actually that actually sounds actually intriguing I've actually that's funny you bring that up because I remember as a kid growing up, I used to keep on putting Bert, Bulgy and George as a team together when I was playing with my Thomas Erdog tours at the time growing up. So that's so funny. And many years later, now I'm hearing this. This is quite a very unusual coincidence. Mm. Yeah, trains is actually like a place for, like a place to play with trains, but also create new ones on your own way. Indeed. Without, actually, without a. Uh, Without using, oh, I don't know, without pushing the models yourself because uh, that would get kind of tiring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just oh, I yeah. like this. I like this idea that you kind of have in mind, uh, mind Scott uh, or RJ. I like this idea. I think this could make a pretty good episode. Now that I think about it, I'm George. actually picturing it right now. I think it might. Well, work Black out. Friday. I mean, most countries have added Black. Friday, when traditionally for us in the States, it's, well, literally the day after Thanksgiving. Hmm. Still that's it, that's it working with you two. That's in November, Although, that is Thanksgiving. Yeah. Canada has their Thanksgiving in October, a month before ours. Oh, right. I don't know. I don't know why, for some reason. Who knows? That's just them. Oh, yeah. We break out, we have hours during I think in December I think it's on Christmas I think I I could be wrong. Right. Boxing day in November after Thanksgiving. Boxing day. <laughs> I used to joke about when people said about Boxing Day I was thinking if it's Boxing Day does that mean when they when everybody has to dress up like boxers they go in the ring and just have a little bit of fun? <laughs> <laughs> no it's joke. I literally thought that. I literally oh, thought yeah. that back then as a kid. Was one of the boxers Mike Tyson? Like, yeah, I thought, like, I thought, like, if that's boxing, does that mean all the professional boxers start coming out and they go on for a one day special, special lingering fight show and just have some fun and not legitimately knock each other out? Also, Jeez, that's really about, ridiculous. Ugh, crazy. I'm thinking time. of a funny enough, I'm thinking of a weird boxing match between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and another actually, thing. <clears throat> That I have to say. Also, okay. guys, did you hear the news that that the guy that that once did the role of Black Panther passed away yesterday? Yeah, sure. I heard about that. Yeah, exactly. By Colin Cancer. Yeah, I, I saw it. it. I just saw it on Twitter. 
and I can't believe it. At least, well. at least no, COVID-19 one. didn't get him. That's for I sure. wonder why he looks different in different movies. Uh, that's just... Yeah, it's just di- different costumes and makeup. The thing is now, I mean, how are they going to how are they going to come up with a new Black Panther film now that the main actor main actor is no longer with us anymore? Unless they do something about his, unless they do something about his um past, like you know, maybe they could go back to when before he becomes Black Panther. You know, the guy who plays him before he becomes that character. They could do like an origin story, maybe. Maybe uh, so. And uh, do it in pretty his, much. Like, they could work. Well, the you know, reason, was, I mean, the reason why I say, um, uh, pretty Hollywood has, a, has been trying to bring back people from the dead and use them, well, very egregiously. Uh, excuse me, I, I, um, <clears throat> oh, speaking of which, I've got my train things on. I was gonna but do this, they quick. would probably, yeah, but. <clears throat> oh, no. Yeah, keep, keep talking, lads. It's all right. It's all right. I was gonna... <clears throat> I was gonna tell Scott something. Yes? What? Uh, <clears throat> beg pardon for me telling you this. Like, I told RJ this the other day, and I totally... I totally understand that the role's not open at the moment, but I... A couple of weeks ago, I... And I'm just letting you know... Just ha- just might as well get this off my chest. I uh did a uh, <clears throat> bulgy audition. Sample of bulgy. That's all. I'm just you know, you know. I'm not trying to. You know, I understand that. I, I I'm just letting you know, Scott, that I uh <clears throat> did a bulgy audition for NWR Adventures a couple of weeks ago, and I sent it to RJ. So uh, yeah for you and RJ to review when the time is right. So, yeah, just having to get that off my chest. So, yeah. Okay. It's all right. Um, oh, sh- just trying to think now. Yeah. Just trying to remember. I'm getting so many things flying in my head because I'm getting nostalgia memories again for some funny reason. I don't know why. Also, I make something new just recently today. I, yeah. And let's just say that Glenn was the first one to, to see it. Remember, Glenn? The my Midland Railway Spinner's Auxiliar Tender. Yeah, I just saw it. Yeah, that's the thing I was impressed by. If you can do auxiliary tendering, I'm pretty sure you can do it for most of us if we all went to if we all went to America. Hell, I'll even grant you permission to turn that for my OC. I, I wouldn't mind. Oh, that's okay. It's a what if scenario well, if I get well, also, Rachel has an auxiliary. Wait, Rachel's well, got one? Rachel has it. Yeah, and she only uses it on the weekend because the trap between. Because, uh, what. The what. <laughs> there is a bit of a situation between. Well, with the water between the trafficking in the UK. And due to how many right. passengers travel on the weekends due to the weekdays. Well, week. Nice. <laughs> But when she's on Sodor, she doesn't need it. Exactly. It's just the time. It's just. It's just usually during her trips between the uh, trafficking in the UK during the weekends because she and Roger pull the uh, da- usually pull the Daily Express from between the Northwestern Railway and the Rail Transport Central. Oh yeah, she mentioned that in the beginning when Henry met her, yeah. saying public rail transportation with her sister, whoever that is. Rail transport, eh? Scott speak. Mm-hmm. Oh, John, can you join us? Hmm? Rail transport, eh? Hey? Not so much I've heard of us. Oh, Jim. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry about that, Scott. Oh, sorry, sorry, I can't. Oh, sorry, Scott. <laughs> Oh, sorry. sorry, Scott. Sorry, I, sorry. I, I couldn't resist doing that's an impression of your hand. It's just amazing. I got, I got that from the movie Pulp Fiction when I wrote it. <laughs> First time oh, yeah. I asking is what? Why ain't no country I ever heard of? They speak English and what? Mm. One guy even uh, said that uh, Henry's uh, expression when he said that was priceless. There's another line on I. I Oh, sorry, Roderick. Um, go on. 
Oh well, I was saying uh, that does a rail transport he does is it does exist? No, it's a fictional railway within a fictional country that it created in the canon. Ah, I uh, see. Basically, so that makes sense. Basically, the, basically the Trethic Union is basically the U.S. version of Europe. Well, it's ah. basically the U.S. of Europe. It's basically connected via land to Portugal and Spain. Whoa. Now that is quite a long. That is uh, quite long. So that means Rochelle Ooh. might end up speaking in uh, bilingual. Like she might speak in two lang separate languages, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, she speaks a little Portuguese, but not much. Who does? Rachel. Rachel. Oh. Rachel. One thing that's for sure. I would also love to see Stevenson one time visit the Isle of the Sodor, see how this attitude will, will will be in the eyes of the other rangers. Oh, hey, Jonathan. Huh? Hello. Oh, hello there, Jonathan. Hey, uh. Jonathan's hello. down below, right? Nice to Where see you. Hello, Jonathan. The most, the most recognizable hey narrator that I know of. <laughs> what up, Jonathan? Yeah, pretty much. It's nice to see you and nice to talk to you for the first time as well. Well, yeah, nice to talk to you for the <laughs> nice to talk to you for the first time, to John, yeah. Jonathan. <laughs> so used to hearing your narration, no matter where you go. Yeah, I'm Probably used the... to hearing you as the voice of Thomas in certain stuff. <clears throat> of course, it's brilliant. I'm telling you, this is actually lifting up, lifting a lot of the uh, recent bad luck I've had lately. You know, this is really, really doing a good job. I feel. I feel really, it's really uh, become a good, um, well, I wouldn't say therapist lesson, but it's definitely made me confident in myself that there are great people out there who can still be well socially with, you know. That's all I gotta say about it. Oh, speaking of which, um, uh, I'm just trying to remember now, there was a. Um, it was at one time, um, I think it was in, um, I was just watching some of the episodes and uh, I gotta admit, um, some of the uh, scenic shots are pretty impressive. Um, I lost, I thought, because I'm using every variation of Trains 12, I, I, I noticed some of the context that were there that I've been trying to have sent over because I couldn't find any of them. I mean, there was that one, there was that brown brake fan that Henry pulled at the beginning of, of Break the James, which was from Hills Tracks, which I can't find because it's gone. And um, there was the, uh, also in the flashback where they had that animated signalman, the, you know, the uh, flag guy in the Soto Porter, whatever his name was, and he's like waving his flag. It's kind of like animated and it's flowing back and forth. I was, ta I was talking yeah. to RJ. I was talking to RJ about this um, on my last stream once, and uh, I remember iOS Studios, uh, Chuck, who was, a, who was an old dear friend of mine, I remember him using them quite a lot, and I couldn't find them anywhere when I started using my trains a few years back. So I've been trying to look for them. Yeah, Sodor Island 3D, surprisingly enough, the the old the old O6 mod site went down. We don't know the reason still, and I theorized that it could have just been Sean himself taking the site down after. Well, I'm going to go, guys. Thanks for having me here. That's all right. No problem. Go ahead, That's all right. See you later. Until next time. Peace. 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 And then there were five. Like I was saying, I've heard a lot of stories. And then there were five. <laughs> <laughs> James would be happy to know that. I was just saying, is that a. I just remember I've heard a lot of stories about that. Yeah, but recently the uh, the O six one actually just came back. Actually, I've been in there and it's working. You know. Wait, but the O six site came back. Yeah, for some funny, yeah for some bizarre reason it popped right back in, and I was able to download some of the older context, which is when I got Boko. I managed to get um Alfred's oldest six five. There's actually, and I, uh, there's actually yeah. a site like that uh, that has the O six models, but. Uh, with better colors yeah i noticed they did have better coloring that's why you can see why i managed to get henry and i got i think i did get called Jinty, uh, called Jinty workshops website and I also, you should see that, that. The, 
Also, guys, did you see that the that the 2006 Thomas model link was actually it's no longer available? No, it's a good job I got it before it went down. Now I got it. Oh yeah, that's well, you good. Can still get to, can still get it again. Yeah, I still got it, and I always say, "Who did you from, say?" Uh, from the uh, Jinty workshop. Who is it? Uh, the Jinty workshop. I've never heard of that. I, uh, oh, there it is. Jinty workshops. There it is. I found it. So you are using the reskins in your side, Scott, right? Right. Yep, yes, now I remember. Of, uh, 2006 models there. Yeah, I remember it now. Now I know where it was. Yeah, I've been here. This is only the second time I've been in this pack. Well, yeah, that's... going back to mm. what I was saying about my Bitlook Railway Spinners mm. Oxidor Tender, maybe that will give you some ideas, maybe, if you are if you agree with it. Hmm, we'll see about that. Uh, oh, I can see some other engines. There's the Blue Bow, Blue Bow and Promise. Uh, who, Captain Paxter? What the heck? Primrose. I didn't, I didn't know Captain Paxter existed. Strange. He's no, he's the Blue Bell's number three. He's the number three, Blue Bell's number three, and was built by the same company that built Scarlowe and Reneas. Interesting. I might remember that if I read it in the books. I'm not too sure. Mm. Mm. Fletcher and Jennings. Oh, the same company that made Smudger. Fletcher and Jennings. Nice. Oh, the forget dog up as well. Oh, nice. The three railway engines are in there too. Oh, a rusted, a rusted version of Rex, and then there's a weird version of Bert and a green version of Mike. When did Mike start becoming green? I didn't know he had that. Who knows? In his backstory, uh, in their backstory, uh, the three were before um, before Mike Rex and Bert were Orsdale Railway engines. They were owned by Previous Line, unnamed at the time. Yep, I guess mm. that makes sense. It does actually. Now I think about it, that's quite intriguing. I'm didn't. I'm not sure if the Ribbon W Audrey um, confirmed that. Did they? I'm not sure if he was wrong. Right right. They only said that they came from a railway in England. Oh, I see. And um, for your information, Glenn, that's not a rusty version of Rex. That's actually a dirty version of Rex. Remember the the book, Youthful Railway. Hmm. The one that Rex derail. Oh, you mean? So you, you mean where he was hauling wool? Exactly. Yeah, that's the one. That's yeah. When he you right, he got derailed. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Those were actually, actually, those were actually made into episodes, and they were the first episodes. Well, they were the first railway stories to be adapted into episode form since season four. No, that's true. But it was good to see. Actually, to be honest, that was actually pretty cool that they were finally getting the engines in. I was actually hyped. I think a lot of that really got the community talking so well. But then well, again, the way uh, but so sad we couldn't see a CGI version of Jock, Frank, and the blisters. Oh, well, well, oh, yes, Jock. Oh, yes, Jock. I was hoping he was going to be in because he was my old time favorite at the time, you know. Well, better to introduce the uh, better to just introduce the three original uh, Arsdale engines than not at all. Mm. I think there's a theory if they, they might do them eventually if they ever wanted to go back and let the new generation get used to them and then perhaps they'll get the new guys in eventually. I'm just thinking. Well, I'm just thinking. well they did just have theory. they did have plans to introduce Bear, but unfortunately that those yeah. were canceled. Wow, they were going to bring in seven seven zero one seven one zero one. Actually, I don't think they were planned. I don't know if they were actually planning to bring Bear back, but uh... with Big War, Big Adventures is actually the thing well, that never happened. Well, here's the well with well with the well with the series we've heard Stranger Tales. I mean, let's be honest. Let's be honest. There were two canceled episodes that were just. Pre-planned, but cancelled at the last minute. A.K.A. the missing coach and Gordon goes foreign. Oh, that God, was that was model series. I yes. would love to see that someday. Well, it's uh, uh, theorized that a lot of the footage from the missing coach was just used in subsequent episodes. Yep. It was a shambles, really, because 
you can just imagine how well received they would have been had they had they actually uh, come to fruition. Yeah. Well. Well, one of our um, let's see, I can't remember. Um, think one of our friends, Phil, he actually found a surplus of images from the episode. And I'm thinking, whoa, they did really cancel that episode at the last minute. Yeah, I can only imagine Brett Allcroft and the other engines were not happy, uh, and the other crew guys were not happy about that. I, I mean, also found someone. I also found someone that has Big City Engine in Student Answer Six version, but he didn't want it to share with anyone. Shambles really about the old, um, about the old Henry's Tunnel, the one that we saw in in Shunter Productions, where it was so long and so it took forever to get through. But that was a pretty good route, from what I could tell, from what I remembered before that one got lost, because I could have used that originally for for instead of the other versions, because. The other versions of Henry's Tunnel that I've had are like too short and some are not long enough. Hmm. Well, we do have, let's see, hopefully in the future, once I do get my version of Trains installed, well, hopefully someday when I get enough RAM, I do plan on trying to at least... Plan it well. At least plan to start up. Well, I, I just plan. <clears throat> how do I say this without sounding like a moron? I mean, you're um, you you kind of stuttering a little bit. You how are you trying to put it as? Hmm. I'm trying. Once I get enough RAM for my PC, well, two of my main PCs, I'm at least planning out, starting out the plan out of uh, the, the Trethic Union and its subsequent route. The Red Transport, well, sub main railway, the Red Transport Central, but and its subsequent heritage lines. <laughs> well, speaking of heritage lines, lads, um, I'm glad you're here, RJ, because I can show you my version. I think, um, I think Scott will be intrigued as well. I'm just going to hit my share screen cam. That's fine with you, lads. Does that sound fine with you, Scott? Uh, what do you say, Kane? Yeah. Kane one? You don't mind if I hit my uh, hit my hit, You don't mind if I flip over on my share screen because I was going to show RJ apparently. Um, sure, let's uh, let's see it. It's actually a route I found on the DLS, but because of my clever editing skills, because I'm very good at creative as well, I'm also good at tweaking a little bit that so can match how I see things in my head. I decided this is actually my OC's private heritage line, even though it's not existed. But this is where I would be living in if I wasn't on Sodor, you know, and uh, very few know where it's located in. This is the route, uh, the heritage branch from the uh, DLS, but I've done some tweaking to it to match for my comfort. As you can see, it's only a short route. So. This nice. is where we... Yeah, mm -hmm. and as you can see... Ah, oh, nice scenery right there. You see how you see how I was saying about the road and you have these cars that move on their own. I can't get that with it when I lay down my own road for some funny reason. Hmm. Anyways, this route here is the entrance to get in, even though that's cut off there, so no one knows where I would be living in. This is where it mostly starts off. Uh, I would say starts off, but I always think this is the end of the line, but who knows? But I've been doing some tweaking around here, as you can clearly see. I put a few bits and bobs that I need in or whatever it was or dependencies I didn't need that weren't necessary. What um, version of trains are you using? On trains. Does some of you, you saw mean, which the version of like trains 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 I'm using no, trains you... twelve. Oh, two thousand twelve. Ah, okay. Alright. Yeah, which is less laggy and more in a way than the others. But anyways, this originally was gonna be my shed, but this can technically work as a uh, as a uh, workshop or whatever it is, like a double barrel thing if I don't go anywhere, but that's usually a shortcut. I've been adding a few textures because I love doing scenery. Um, that's usually a shortcut to get to the next station, but if I was to pick my passengers up, I'd have to go at slow speeds all the way around in this curled little tunnel, which was already in the route. Go all the way around a quite little curve, I mean, around this little uh, curve, and there's the next station, which I've... Uh, 
which didn't have that many people so i decided to put some in anyway and uh we continue onwards through here and then we turn around and then we head back to the mainland and then we cut up the next station you can get this on the dls you know guys but this is my improved version and uh, eventually i'll make a copy get a copy out of this and might give it to you guys if you're ever interested um but there's the next station i kept the uh you know the station named while i was just doing a few bits and bobs and we continue onwards and then we get to the breathtaking scenery of the viaducts which is quite nice and uh did some more oh, tweaking about it pardon scott let's see the viaduct i'm interested this is it here this was already incorporated in the game i had to download off the dls to get the uh, dependency to work there it is. Hello, hello, hello. What have we got here then? Oh, hello, Mark. Hey, guys. Hello. I'm here. Yay. Oh, hey, Mark. Hello. Hello there, Mark. Long time no here. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. That, there's the viaduct right there. I see it. Nice. That's it right there. It's good. This is a good place. I did a little tweaking to the village as well because the thing was moving off its thing, so I had to bring it to the ground, did some tweaking to it um and then we pass through here which is where the balloon stuff is that was already incorporated in balloon. this was yeah the hot air balloon stuff uh this was just kept anyway and then i did some tweaking i put some small houses in just you know because local as you can clearly see some local people live in these places you know and then we pick up some, and then we can just like pick up for a few more miles in the open countryside and then we slow down and this is where the main thing terminates around I did some more tweaking. There, I put the uh, signal box in. I put a Thomas guy in there to control the crossing because the other one was just way too massive. And that's the main station. Here we go underneath. And uh, this was that. This there was a diff This station wasn't like this at all. So what I did was I just removed the grass station and I put this platform in because it was long enough. So this is the end of the line. I put some people involved to, to you know just to make it active. And that's basically the end of the line. Unfortunately, the uh, disconnection to run around my train is way too short. So, yeah, I'm very limited in taking, in doing a few bits here. So I have to kind of, don't want to go like too far ahead. So I might have to like move this out a bit and remove these plants here. And I might have to move this up to acquire my space because I'm a big engine. Then we run around and we start all over again. But around here there's actually a shunting yard where i can do a little freight working and there's the turntable for me to face in the opposite direction because i like going forwards rather than going backwards for a little coal supply and i replaced the workstation with this two shed because i had actually three engines but this is actually big enough to require two engines only this is basically my main shed where i would be sleeping in but technically that's my private heritage branch lads So it's a very well-built route. Definitely a lot better than uh, what I could ever do. Well, that's fine. I got it from the DLS, and I just did some tweaking to make it to make it suitable for my purpose. You know, how would I vision it in my opinion? Oh, Actually, right. uh, speaking of roads, something went wrong with it with the Breath of the Battlefield Center in my sight. For some reason, it didn't look like I saw in the videos. That's because you need certain assets. Because yeah, you're going to need some certain assets that we have. Mm -hmm. I had to get these cars to pop up. Like, if you lower it down, they would just pop up automatically, oh. and then they would stop automatically at the crossings if you were to cross over. Because. Um, uh, can I also say something? Uh, I found this out myself. Like, like, are the tracks there for you or anything? Or is it just like scenery? Is that it? Yeah, it's mainly scenery. The tracks were already there uh, anyway. I was, I was talking to Ricardo. Oh, sorry, no, Ricardo. Okay. Sorry. Like, because if the tracks aren't there, then that then usually it's because you need to go into the session rather than the route itself. I uh, I'm I found this out myself when when uh, Scott first sent Rendo into me a few years back. Oh. Well, I don't think there's a seat session there. Oh dear. And here, I, and here well, I am, Scott. What is the uh 
Uh, yeah. Looks a little bit like a just a reskin of Gordon. Yeah, this is actually me in a as a hybrid steam locomotive. That's me as myself as an engine. Yeah, I'm actually yeah. a hybrid. But that. Sorry about that. Okay, use the bathroom. What was that? No. That was grandma. Uh, where's the connection? Uh, uh, oh, here we go, lads. And this is me. This is my official railway series livery. My official livery. This is why I am today in the railway series. Interesting. Is it this one? I yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is my great I like except uh, I'm not really this this big. I'm ten times bigger than this. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure RJ can show you the uh, image of what my face will be will be like. The face? Yeah, remember uh, this is what I would have looked like, except I'm a lot bigger and I have a Mikado wheel wheel arrangements and you know. You know, how, uh, you know how massive I look. You it's, know, I think they're, uh, they're just temporary, right? But then the Duke faces are temporary, right? Well, unfortunately, it has to be temporary before I can think of getting my own face packer. Uh, but it works for the time being. If you just yeah, get my oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It's the it's the same case with uh, me and my character. Like the Thomas spaces are just a placeholder until I can find a more suitable custom face back. Well, like I said, just ask yeah. Yellow Dash. He's great at that stuff. Well, actually, there is this one face pack that I think would suit Mark greatly, uh, but it's not released yet. Hey, music playing in the background. Uh, yeah, that's my brother upstairs. He's a he's a really good guitar player. Nice. I'll say. Yeah. Sounds like he so, should be an ACDC. <laughs> oh, funny man. Don't, that's one of my dad's you, favorite bands. Yeah. Fu funny you should mention that. Um, yeah, yeah. he and I actually like ACDC a lot. My favorite song is Back in Black and On the Highway to Hell. Well, shoot the throw for me. Mother's a guitarist. Well, Thunder I'm a drummer. Thunderstruck and TNT for me. All right, that's that's my first. That's actually my official branch where my OC will live. If I'm not on so at all, this is like in my. I'm well, not related to my actual backstory, but this is where I am at most times. You know, it's where I seek refuge. It's one of those ones that they uh, have to try. But the other I one, think... the other. Oh. Sorry, yeah, uh, uh, um, I was telling Scott. I think uh, the guy. The Untold Kingdom of the Sudrian Isles means the 06 models that we use. Nice. Hmm. I mean, uh, it means I an have, update to them. We have uh, updates yeah. on to them. Oh. Hey, guys, uh, speaking of which, uh, yeah. I, 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 speaking of the 06 models, uh, I actually have a friend who uh, has made his own uh, custom Northwestern Railway livery for the engines, and I think I think it looks really cool. Are you talking about Ultra Orb? Talk about who? Ultra Orb. One more time. Ultra Orb. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I've seen those too. Mm. Yeah, they, yeah, they really are good. They really are I good. Really like, oh yeah. But uh, I really like how you upgraded them. You know, the O6 models carrying headlamps and other things that we couldn't do. That's really amazing. That's that yeah, really is brilliant. Me as well. First, hey, um, make well, me first. Well. Uh, do you guys mind if I share my screen really quick? Because like I want to show you a bit of an update I did to one of them though. One yeah, of the sure thing. Uh, sure thing. Go actually, ahead. actually three of them technically. I uh, updated the blue on on them. What do you guys think? Sure, go ahead. Uh, I I'd like to see I, what you've done. Well, I'm, I'm sure. Sure. Just to be curious, then I can go back to showing what my other original home is, which is based on my uh, railway series um, canon. Can you guys see my screen at all? Can't see anything. I don't. 
Oh, oh there they are. Oh wow. Oh, so those are the uh, those are the uh, custom liveries you're talking nice. about. Nice. That's right. That, that's actually, I like that. I like that. That's really good. That actually suits the railway series version nicely. And I like Gordon's new face. It's based on that Tobias pack, isn't it? Uh, yeah, um, I have a friend who was able to make the custom faces, like Gordon's sulking face, his enraged face, even a dying of laughter face. Like, yeah. I oh, yeah. I'll, so, that friend. I'll, I'll, I'll show you that face later. I'll really quickly. Really that friend that uh, made I really those. do like the symbol on their tender. That's really nice. Is that the uh, Soto? Um, uh, yeah, it's, badge it's the Western LA emblem. I've got this. Hey, uh, by the way, um, Mark, um, I've got this route, by the way. Yeah, the the BR Western region, oh, yeah, and also I, also here's James just for the lols. <laughs> nice. He's still uh, he's still, he's still he the same. Great. Like the the red suits him fine, and I just realized the brake fan should be at the end of the train. Red suits him uh, perfectly. I like the fact. Uh, I mean, that's really clever how you've done that. But the thing is, I've got a few dependencies missing from now. Unfortunately, that I have yet to install. Uh, for um for what exactly? For the BR um. For the BR um, Western route. region, I mean, ah. yeah, there's a couple. Of, yeah, there's a couple of them that don't work. But luckily enough, I've been using this route for my uh, origin story for Doncaster, where I was built in. And ironically enough, it's the exact same route that Pitcher uses for Railgate. Uh, yeah, yeah, that that's the actually the, the original reason why I got the route because like yeah, same, really. yeah. I like Thomas is sitting in there, but that's pretty cool. Um, that that well, station you got there. That station never popped in mind when I got it installed. That wasn't even there at all. Uh, also, a funny thing about this station, it actually has a built-in stopping me mechanism. So, like, yeah. if you're drifting and you're trying to get them to stop, like, as soon as they reach here, boom, they stop. Automatically. Nice. Like I said, there's a lot of problems. Um, when Jerome, aka the journalist who used this, he said that it was too Americanized. Hi, Dad. I mean, oh there's nothing God. wrong with. I there's not really that much of a. Well, there's not that much of an issue to Americanize something. I mean, you know what I mean. I mean as, as technically, it, that's what the traffic. It looks very, very. Like in a way. It's, it's fine as long as you execute it correctly. Exactly. I'm amazed about the sounds of about. I'm amazed about the sounds here, Mark. Uh, yeah, I uh, replaced the in-game sound with the uh, comments and front sounds. Well, some of them anyway. How'd you that's manage to do that? Oh, that's cool. The, you actually made the uh, calling thing coming out. I I tried that once and it didn't work. Uh, reason. That. And that's just the way this shoot is programmed. That, that's why it's animated. It's just the way this shoot was made. I do like the, I like the fact that how you done yeah, it. Yeah, really the car clever. coding. Yeah, I really do like the coding and the delivery you've done on these risks. That's really, really awesome. Wait, wait, oh, crap. Um, <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, well. Told us some trucks oh, right again. Dear. But no, it's not the truck's fault. It's the points. Faulty points. The power So how did you manage to? Hey, at least the uh, yeah. yeah. Generic oh. for Thomas uh, found. Um. Well, um. Okay. Interestingly and enough, interestingly I, guess, enough. I guess I have some time to show you. Hey, you um, I went to hey, Windows. Marcus. Hey, Marcus. What year is this in your timeline? Can says him by the way. Just curious. Oh, wait, um, okay. Um. Well, since I got my version of Trains 19 from Steam, I was able to go into the uh, the audio files and uh, just replace them with Thomas and Friends sounds. Of course, I had to rename rename each new file so that way it would replace the old file, you know, so that way it would actually work and not just be uh, silent. You know what I mean? Do you think well, it would be possible if I do the same in my Trains in the era, Mark? I mean, if you can find the audio files, then sure. All right. Yeah. What timeline is this set up in yours, by the way, Mark? Just, just laying it up. Just one. Oh, this, this, and yeah. What, this, what timeline this, is it? And I, I, I'm just messing around. Like, I'm, and I'm not really, like, I'm, like, you know, I'm just messing around. Like, as if I was on a train. I was playing with a train set. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, but I was just saying if this I'm was just, a I'm, yeah. I'm just having just having fun. Yeah, but if oh, you wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. oh wait, you meant deliveries, didn't you? Yeah, delivery and timeline, that's pretty clever. I mean, I think this would be I think a lot of the guys in the Tom's community would definitely love this. Well, I'm not, I'm not the one who uh, made the original livery pack, Culture Orb did. All I did was uh, edit the blue a bit. For mm -hmm. the blue was really cool. I, I bet Henry, uh, what's the other part of the route like anyway? I bet uh, I can't see Henry anywhere else. Uh, that's because Hen I didn't spawn Henry in here. It's oh, just, I thought. It's, it's, well, but if you want to see Henry, I'll show you Henry. I I'm guess. just curious to know what he looks like. Oh, there he is. Wait a minute. Train fan JT asks us, do you think some of you guys oh. might be able to do some reviews on the train, so, on the Sodor Workshops Trains 2019 models? You don't have to <laughs> say Sodor Workshops twice, dude. Mm -hmm. I know where that is, mate. That's why I got my first my first trains. I actually got Flying Scotsman's Great Race there, and I got Donald and Douglas before they were taken down for some reason. Oh, here, here it is. Henry has a fellow tender for in this pack. Uh, based, on, based on his railway series, uh, very clever. Yeah. Uh, I don't like yep. the, I don't like the fact clever. that the, his thing is sticking out of his front board joints. That's what I don't like about these movie skins. You see that? Well, uh, no, well, no, no. That, that that that's only a glitch that happens in Tain and Up. Like in Twelve and oh. Under, it doesn't happen. It's funny like, there, because someone, someone did make a fix for it, but I haven't gotten the chance to find it or download it yet. It's funny because I took great. I took um, Henry's Great Northern livery and for my side oh, ones. Oh, and fun, funny you should mention that. Because I actually did that, you know. I get well, that, and I, I, I have I have a friend who did this. I actually, actually it's funny actually because I actually requested this to happen. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a different reskin, dude. Might do. No, actually, I actually have. A very similar mold to this one. Uh, a friend of mine named Nick Nicholas um, Thomas Blow, whatever his name was, he did the exact same one for me as a, for a private reskin request, and mine works beautifully. Look, this one, I'll, I'll, made, this this one was made by a friend of mine, Jason Alvarez, and this was released on uh, Crosby Trains Works. Well, it's Crosby funny because it's exactly okay. the same way in my own. Actually, if you want to guys have a quick look, but well, yeah, I, I might. I don't know how to play sound in game sounds, but. I actually know how to do that. The way how I do it is that I do it in context, in context. Um, Content manager. Yeah, that's how I do it, and it's it's actually quite easy. You just go remember. It, it does take a while to get used to. Like, yeah, like yeah, you can replace like the engine sounds and stuff, but I mean like the in-game sounds. Oh well, I've never done it in in-game sounds before, so I'm kind of okay. Yeah, that, that, that's what I replaced. That's what I replaced in order to you know have the. Oh, by the way, guys. Oh, by the way, lads. I've managed to get my um my thing up on here, so I'll show you afterwards. If uh, oh, what you got there? Another reason. Oh, there's Percy. Uh, I want. I want to see how to replace is that uh, coupling up. Uh, now. Ooh, that looks, oh, that that's the early version of Percy in Soto Island 3D. Yeah. Nice, nice green. Is that based on the? Oh, I agree. Second, I thought it was Hornby Percy for a second because he had a because well, mine actually happened. No, nope, this is just Ultra Orb's uh, green livery for Percy. Because my 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 Percy Holmby model was in that livery at one point, which was a bit strange. And speaking of which, of uh, Soda Workshops, I just recently just got um, uh, Stanley installed. I didn't have to hit the Tains wheels or whatever the heck it was. Even if I did, the context would still work, which was a bit weird, and it still worked like nothing happened. Well. Well, kind of, kind of reminds me of how the old O9 models will, would work in Trains 2006 several years ago. So it's kind of similar to that. That is quite strange. Speaking of the O9 models, for some strange, like, like maybe it's just lighting, but the, doesn't it occur to you guys that they somehow look better in in 19? They do. Yeah, it does. Like here's Edward Prince. Yes, they look cool in that game. I they also did, did that well, one, one time ago. Yeah, I have, I have all, I have, wait, oh, <laughs> oh, sorry, a black Edward. 
There he is. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why, but hearing the classic effects from season one from the time of stuff, it really makes me give a chuckle when you're playing it in the video game. <laughs> could you could you also teach me how to do how to Wait, I, I, how you I, did I, auto I, that mark? I, I only know how to do it in nineteen. That's quite cleverly done. I nah. mean, I, I mean, trains, trains anywhere run. I mean, trains anywhere run. Trains 2019 have do have some differences between the two. However, okay, if you yeah. want to do some decent recording, and sh if you wanted to do some recording in trains 2019, then you're gonna have to have a a PC that's well. Decently expect. Yeah. Well, that's like I said, I was keen to use 12 on mine because, like, I, you know, I'm, I, I keep saying this is a broken record, but I'm old school, you know. Just, yes, like the old, just, like, just like the dead man of The Undertaker from WWE, <laughs> who I have met, by the way. Wait 23 years to meet him, and uh, what can I say? A big, badass, but wonderful person. I can hear James uh, passing by you, apparently. Uh, was that you, Ricardo? No, you were not with me. I'm, I was just blowing James' whistle, and then I'm backing him up. Oh, my mistake. I thought it was Ricardo, because he's got a pretty good sensitive microphone when he plays his games. Yep. Okay, uh, it seems I'm going to have to put James in the farthest siding, siding number one, because uh, these points right here don't want to cooperate. I get that too with mine, but here's what I do. Before I go into drive mode, I always put my engine to see where it's going to react, and then I actually put the setting into um, switch mode, and then I go into drive mode afterwards so I can complete my actual journeys without getting any derailments. That was just the old school way of doing it. Oh, hey, Chuck. Oh, hey, Chuck. Hey. Chuck. I, I owe a studio. I owe a studio. Hey, Chuck. I am. What's my man? Holy shit, my, 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 my boy's here. Where is he? Uh, I think he's backstage. Either that or he's in the chat. He's in the chat. Oh, yeah, he's in the chat. He's in the comments. He's saying right. hello, you four. I think he's beginning me. There's four of us. Hello, Chuck. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, 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 guys, do you mind if I add Chuck? Of course. Oh, okay, whoever's microphone is acting up, it's being really loud. Doing good, Chuck. Hey, I check you, my man. He's the hey, one who helped me film my 311 movie. <laughs> hey, 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 Chuck, you want to do Oh, it was, it was Ricardo's mic. Yeah, Ricardo's always messes up at times. Hey, uh, Chuck, do you want to join us in the script? Hey, Chuck, do you want to join oh, us in the script? <laughs> yeah, I'm still on the script. Okay, because I don't see the icon. Anywhere. Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing, man! I'm I'm freaking out with hype with hype this man. Me hey, Chuck, uh, hey, hey Chuck, if you if you wanted to join us in the stream, I sent you the invite link through Discord. No, me and Chuck go way back, man. He taught me a lot of things that got me back into like in trains, you know. He taught me everything. And he helped us uh, with remembrances wheels. For nice. Movies. And and uh, he helped supply me with the necessary parts to make the original version of Mark before he got a updated model. We're gonna, yeah, he's gonna join us. Actually, he'll join up soon, and he doesn't mind. But I might have to go in a few hours myself. Okay. Because of the uh, yeah, but I'm still gonna be around. I'll still be here. Depends on what's gonna happen. Oh, he's so happy, man. Thanks, mate. Yeah, no problem. You're all more, more than welcome to pop in, man. This is this is great. This is definitely going to make my 2020 very positive. That's good. That, this is brilliant. And I'm finally getting to speak with you as well, um, Scott, as well as you again, RJ, after so long. I mean, like I said, I think this is good for me out of this. Hmm. Also, Mark, and, since um, you got... Speaking of wait, since... uh, well, what were you saying, Ricardo? Well, since that you got Trains 2019, did you also got the new Emily model that was released in Copper Railways? 
Funny you yeah, mentioned well, I was I was actually just about to mention that, but at the same time I didn't want to change the topic suddenly. Oh. <laughs> but thank you for doing that for me. Yes, I do have Emily. And uh, I also asked Alex permission and he well, yeah, he gave me permission to clean her up a bit so she's not, you know, all dusty. Oh really? So you managed to get the new version of Emily. I I've got her her uh, two thousand and twelve ish model and the the newer one they had before they they upgraded her. Yeah, here she is. Where is she? Well, I also make hair. I also make hair fictional 2006 version. RJ and Scott already have hair. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Oh, that, oh, wow. That's her. Yeah. Nice. Roderick's, um, not Roderick. Uh, Ri Ricardo's, um, he's allowed us, he's allowed us to use Emily with her. Number 18. Wow. Well, I've got to admit um, that oh, whistle was speak, quite loud. Um, can I, uh, Speaking of Ricardo's Emily, never mind. I'm going to actually compare them for one. I will admit Ricardo's. Oh, wow. Looks like um, apparently season let, one. Let, of let me. Uh, I was going to. Guys. Season, let season me one uh, of Fit Machette's been released. Let's, right. fin let's finish RJ speaking. Okay. Please. Ricardo's allowed us. Uh, Ricardo's allowed me and Scott to use Emily well with her customer number in the series number eighteen. Nice. Oh, yeah. Despite they giving her number twelve in the uh, actual series. I remember that Eric. Well, with his consent. Remember, Eric. There's also Eric. Hmm. Well, that's because Eric's number twelve in our series. Yeah. I get you. Speaking of Eric, here he is. The Grizzly V3 tank engine that works on the old branch line that Scarlowe actually was transported to. The Kurt Roman branch? Yeah. Nice. And uh, here, here he is. The spot I do like. Oh, and uh, Mark, I'm so glad you actually f managed to find remember, remember it's his whistle. Because. It, yeah. Spot, it was bugging, uh, it was I mean. Bugging. It was bugging you too, trying to remember the original source, right? RJ. Yeah, because when we, yeah, because when we had chosen the whistle, it was like I don't know, uh, you mean two to three years country? ago. Yeah, like the what the size. Yeah, you got I mean, it? trying to find the whistle because. Yeah. No, yeah, I understand. But like, here's the thing: the site you got it from is no longer up, so that's why you couldn't find it because it's dead. Yeah, the original. I was talking about the same one you had. Uh... Thankfully, the the showcase video for it was still up on YouTube, so that's that. It's a sham. I can't use any of these routes from from oh. Oh. because my transit belt is two point nine. Wait a minute, you I'm mean Phoenix here? I'm making Because some of these are really good, because when I do flip back and out, I mean, what happens is that the track and the ground section are like floating in midair, and the rest of the group is like not there, the ground isn't there. Which is quite upsetting, to be honest, because there are some of these miles that were just so awesome. Two thousand twelve versus two thousand nineteen. Oh well, midwife. But when did since when did that station come into existence? Well, I do see. And well, with the lighting out. effects of trains. Yeah. Some of the lighting effects. Some of the lighting effects of trains twenty nineteen. It reminds me a lot of the old. It reminds me quite a bit of the O six lighting. To a degree. Oh, oh that's awesome. Guys, you guys have done amazing. This this is amazing, guys. I can't believe I'm actually seeing this. Uh, there's the Crocs scrap yard. The it, it's it, just the uh, lighting of the shader. Henry's just the lighting tunnel. of the shader. And Scott, is there anyone backstage? Uh, no, just the five of us. Um, 
there's season one of Tipman that just came out. Mm. So no, there isn't. Based on the model railway lab that the Reverend W. Audrey made. Oh, that's, this is class, man. Show okay. my work for my trains. Chuck should have joined us by now. I mean, he's online, so. He said he would join us later. Back by the way, guys. He's in Australia. He is, yeah, on the opposite side of the globe. Wait, huh? Chuck's Australian? Yes. Yeah, he is. I didn't yes, know he that. Neither did I. Well, Actually, I knew it. I knew it was. He's, he's Australian, just like Victor Townsend. Does that mean Victor Townsend still talk with you, RJ and, and Scott? Uh. What, what Ricardo asked does is Vic is still is Victor still a voice actor in the series is what Scott is but what not Victor only the series yes he is. Oh, he is in fact oh. he's already uh, he's lent his voice to two of my uh the two of my recent add up two of my recent solo videos <clears throat> you know speaking of Victor Tansett lads I've been I've, a couple of people I've been ever asking you know <clears throat> will we ever do like a stream like this like what we're doing here for fun just think about it. it would be happy boost up his channel with amazement oh wow richard tanzig has a railway series version oh my lord yeah i, we're going to I make that myself yeah wow for a split second i thought it was what the westers then for a split second oh wow. no that's yeah that's yeah, 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 yeah ricardo he he, do, he doesn't go down that road anymore no uh, but it looked like it there for a split second that's amazing well, i mean i mean i mean of course of course, it would look somewhat similar because, like you know, it's really series. It's really series. Looks very similar. The wheels and, of course, the tenders are very really similar. It's supposed to be really series. Act. Chuck needs to add his. Uh, he needs to add. Chuck needs to add his devices before we, I can yeah. add them in. Yeah, oh, here's, the, here's, here's here's the older version. I'm here's not the gonna older lie. Version. I'm not gonna lie, but the other one looks pretty good. I do like the green livery on it. It looks quite accurate to me. Kind of reminds why, me of Emily's. I don't know why, but I just like brighter coloring. Yeah. Know what I'm saying. And then finally, here's the original, the OG. I've got that version of Victor, but not that version of him with his classic Edward face. But I do have his model though. So yeah, we have the OG. The old series model, the series model. And speaking of which, look at look where it's down there, lads. I think we've been joined. Hi, 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 Mike. Good day, hey, Mike. Chuck. Hello, Chuck, my old friend. Uh, still... uh, we, we can't hear you, buddy. I can hear you. I I can't hear him. I can't hear him at all. Me neither. Uh, can anybody hear me now? Oh, no, no. Hey, hey, Chuck. Chuck. Uh, howdy, y'all. <laughs> Hello, Chuck, my old man. How's it going? Yeah, uh, not too bad. I'm now earning a rest after uh, premiering the Magic Realm. I watched oh, yeah. it. Speaking of which, anyone who's watching the stream, if you have some spare time, check it out. It's pretty good. I've watched it, Chuck, and let me tell you, words can't oh, describe what I've done that with you, man. <laughs> Actually, I loved it. Thanks. It took me a year and a half to finish all of that. Wow. And you, and that, and you really did impress me with the figures and all that. It took you a year and a half, almost two years, just like I did to do when I did my own. Wow. Yeah. Damn. I think. I, I think we can both agree we won't push ourselves that limit ever again. Wouldn't you agree, um, Chuck? Yeah. Yeah, yeah was, I love to. Really an, amb an ambitious project. It was, yeah. I could definitely tell it was an ambitious project. I was thinking in my mind, that's what I was thinking of, and uh, you took the words out of my mouth. Oh, and that's another old version of. I, gotta admit, I have to admit, Chuck, your modeling technique skills have definitely gone through the roof. <laughs> Thanks again. Yeah, I was actually scared for you for a bit because, like, this looks so close to the 06 and 09 Thomases. I was scared people are going to say, oh, you reskinned the 09 Thomases. I was like, thinking oh, the same thing. All that nonsense. Because they can't see the minor differences. Like, they're, 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 that, they're blind enough to not notice them. 
So what Speaking are the of which, hey Chuck, you might believe this, but this is the first time me and Scott apparently have, have ever actually made a visual contact. That's why I spoke briefly on Twitter to him, and uh, yeah. me and RJ, and me and RJ have have had our first talking in for the yeah. first time five years. Yeah, I, I originally first got contact with him on Twitter as well. Yeah, we did. It's funny, mm -hmm. Chuck, and uh, you won't believe it, but I've actually started streaming myself for the first yeah, time. Yeah, I saw. And um, Scott and I actually talked like two or three years ago, and um, the year after that, I helped him with the animation of the driving wheels for most of his models. So I can see. Um, and also, we, thanks to you, I also made it to, to bake some to bake my models, by the way. I really thank you for that. Yeah, that's, fine. that's actually quite good. I actually admit that the quality on Toby and this model was extremely impressive. I, I say extremely because it looks quite accurate to his season one look, I think. Yeah, um, Ricardo, give it, oh, I mean, um, uh, just take a look inside of Toby because I added a few tweaks in there. Really? Oh, yeah, I have like, that. But, but, like, like, where, like, in his cow well, or in the, the water tank? In the water tank. Yeah. Like you know in that episode when Toby is like very low in water? Uh I, I don't I don't I don't see it. Oh oh wait, oh I see. I see the there oh, wait. oh no wait, that's the pipe for his funnel. Is it on the left side? I I, I can't see his water tank. I don't uh, I don't know where it is. Oh, oh okay. Like, I'll, like, I'll, I'll feature it on like, my side then. Like, do I have an older version? Oh, wait, no, never mind. I see it. I see, it. It. I see it. There it is. There's the water tank. Right there. Oh, yeah. Right there's there. His, that's his water glass. That's his water glass gauge. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> that's really clever. You might be a great team player. Next, we have wow, Stephanie. Steph and <laughs> Stephanie did not approve. <laughs> no, no, he, he's pissed about something else. He, he's pissed that his real life counterpart is, is stuck and not able to team again. Hmm. Uh, speaking, of which, oh, oh, speaking of which, oh, guys, what do you. It's my friend. And yeah. Yeah. Um, let's, let's, uh, I was going to ask you, uh, Mark. Uh, I was going to ask uh, I was going to ask you, Mark, in terms of the quality of trains. You were in terms of the quality of trains 2019. Do you think it's caught up quite well to Railworks in terms of the graphics? Well, yes and no. It has its pros and cons. Hmm, that's pretty accurate. Uh, by the way, by the way, Shark, I've uh, done some really good upgrading. You, I'm glad you're here because you just missed my my private heritage branch that I lived in. Like when I'm not there, you may have mm. seen on my dear art channel, maybe they uh, where I've been living in. Um, also, um, I also have the second here, just railway. So, uh, hey, Mark, is it okay if I um swap round with you? Um, well, considering the fact I'm not really doing anything else, uh, sure. Is that okay with you, um, Sam? And okay, RJ? so after this, Glenn, you show your hair to tonight. I think it's. I think it would be also time that I show what I'm doing uh, here. And you wrote. RJ? Is that what? Okay. Here we go, lads. This is actually, you know, Hills Tracks um, Beast thing thing that I was trying to get a long time ago. I managed to get this still. I've been doing some good tweaking to this. This is actually the heritage branch that Liz saved me in in my railway cannon. You know when I knew got scrap. Oh, cool! And this here, this still talks to you. Yeah, this here. Yep, this here is actually. Oh, and don't worry, Scott. I'm still on the script. I'm. This whole thing here is actually all. This all. This whole thing here was completely like, had nothing in. So what I decided to do was, you know, because it stopped there and it just ran around. So what I did was I decided to tweak it and make into a double station and. Put some people in. This was in my early days at this time. So what uh, I did was I actually I they are watching what I'm doing here. Uh, I've done all this, made this a little refilling station. This is the little round. I just want to. I just want to get back to the. Uh, Look at this. Guess what station this is. I just want to get back to you sharing, showing off the script. Okay then, RJ. Sorry about this. 
Um, it's been a quick. Go go ahead, yeah. RJ. It's all right, RJ. It's all right. It's all right. Mm-hmm. This is a safe place. Whoa! Where did that come? From? Where did those hedges come from? Those weren't there the last time I was on this thing. Hmm. Maybe you've just done so many modifications that like you don't remember some. Unless they were the missing, de- unless they were the missing gaps that popped themselves up automatically, because that's what my trains keeps on doing a lot. Yeah, this is where me and Liz have been living in. This is in my railway series cannon, by the way. And oh, the super box that wasn't there either. Wow. Does Liz still talks to you? Well, let's just say we've cut in tight for the time being until we're ready again. Okay, two things. One, I can't see your screen, and secondly, Oops. um, why did right. why did Chuck leave? No, I think I think he. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, there he is. Ah, here we go. A glitch came up right in front of my screen, so I had to refresh. Oof. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that Wi-Fi? Uh, okay, no, not good. really. It's just um, I was trying to uh, like to share something on my screen as well, but then it just went blank. Oof. Okay, your screen thing's doing pretty good there, there, RJ. That, well, that's uh, pretty um, unique. Or oh, is it Scott? I'm just trying to uh, show. I'm just trying to show off the script because that's what we were originally doing. Oh yeah. Sorry if we went off a bit of content there, ladies and gentlemen. But that's what happens sometimes in streams. All right then. All right then, Chuck. Sure. Anyways, yeah. This, which is this for the next episode that's coming up? No, that's for uh, for future episodes. Oh, episode. It's for episode seventeen. As well as the future and... special, Top Gordon. Essentially, everyone, Top Gordon is a basically our version of Top Gear Race to the North. I oh, I had a, I had I a feeling. That. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I remember that. Just be I lucky, remember. Mark isn't. Just be lucky, Mark isn't. Clarkson. Oh, I don't even I... record out these things. Hammond! Oh. You fucking moron! <laughs> Mark. Oh my god, even more bills are popping up on these... these I didn't even download these things either. What is going on with this? <laughs> Magic. Uh, oh, trains. What? I don't know what you've been doing in my absence while I'm on these routes, it's, man. It's magic. Trains magic. Not all of them have popped. I think very few have popped in, but some of them haven't completely. But this is this is this is taking the biscuit. Good thing I know what you meant by biscuit. If, if I was the same person I was a few years ago, I probably wouldn't I would have thought you meant our interpretation of biscuit. You know, the fluffy red type thing. Yeah, but I was referring to taking the biscuit and what we eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cook cookies. Yeah. Yeah, if that don't well, that's a new one. If that don't take the biscuit, I might as well say that that didn't take the cookie. Oh, jeez, what am I saying? Well, 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 for the well, the phrase for us is "takes the cake." Like he really takes the cake. Where and why does he take the cake? How come he don't take the pie? Pie's a lot easier to carry the cake. Uh, cake, pie, pie, but not for your party. But then again, the cake's not so hard to carry either. Piece of cake. Uh, Ah, there it is. That's what I didn't see before on the clip. They got the um, the railings. Those weren't there the first time yeah. either. For those this of is- you, who, for those of you who couldn't tell, I was uh, referencing George Carlin. May you rest in peace. Yes, George Carlin. George Carlin. You know the U.S. comedian. Yeah. Near and Thomas I know Carlin. who he is. He's my favorite yeah. comedian of all time. Oh, God, God, was still I never even got the chance to see, to know about him. Part of watching Channing time. Around this time, so it's time you to get on the plane. Get on the plane. Get on the plane. I say, fuck you. I'm getting in the plane. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, that. Oh my. Why am I getting the impression that I'm thinking of the guy who voice acted in uh, Wild North Western's epic series, who even voiced Duncan and he did George Carlin, who was a, a, a great impression. I bet you anything that 10 times out of 10, Nikki, Vinny, and Tony will beat the shit out of Todd, Kyle, and Tucker. You mean <laughs> Nick on, you mean Nick from Planet Ripple? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nick on Planet Ripple, the guy who reviewed uh, Tobias and the Half Pariah in the funniest way possible. 
Yes, I remember him. <laughs> wow, there's a lot. Of, I, I, you, I don't even you, remember you, where I got the season one stuff. I don't even remember where I downloaded them from either. This is unbelievable. I'm literally, you, I'm literally at a loss for words. You can I'm see you can see others coming from a mile away. Don't come any closer. I'll drop it. I'll do it. You're bluffing. I'm not bluffing. Please don't do this. I'm making you get him. Not today. Who oh, knows? Speaking of, yeah. uh, I'll, speaking, I'll of episode, uh, speaking of episode, speaking of, speaking of episode seventeen, would you guys go out on Black Friday? What's that? Seventeen. Uh, Seventeenth episode, and uh, judging by the way you guys are writing the script, I'm guessing Boko is filling in for Quentin. Spoiler alert. Hmm. Yes. Would sound pretty cool, actually. Does he mean Wilson has a face pack? Just ask him. Big... Who? Who has a face pack? Wilson, uh, Wilson, Wilson, B1. Uh, B1. I don't, I don't, I don't recall an engine named Wilson. You know the the real B1. Oh, wait, I think it was he referring to. Oh, 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 no, never mind. Now I remember. Now I remember. He and Henry would actually get along. He and Henry would actually. He and Henry would actually get along quite nicely. Yeah, you guys are, Remembrance actually stated that in the in, in, in the introductory video to the rest of the VCR yep. crew. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing that happen. Actually, I would. I think that could actually happen. Goddamn bunch of hippies! Bunch Goddamn of hippies. Yankees! <laughs> I, Always about the children. Think of the children. What about the children? Save the children. You know what I say? Fuck the children. Yeah. Oh, Even though his jokes, sure he loves, sure George Carlin enjoying himself taking the role of Mr. Conductor, right? Ah, uh, yeah. In, George Carlin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the shame we did. Yeah, 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 but, 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 but before him was Ringo Starr. He. Yeah. He, yeah. Well, in season two. Yeah. It's, yeah. He yeah, Ringo Ringo originally played Mr. Conductor. Yeah. Unfortunately, first. one of the actors unfortunately one of the actors from Chinese Time Station isn't around with us anymore since Dan passed away in two thousand twelve. Who exactly? He was uh he was one of Stacy's uh nephews. Oh yeah, and if you guys don't know, uh <laughs> If you guys don't know who played Stacy Jones, she was famously on the TV movie Grease. Come on, TV Kong. That's right. I didn't realize. Damn, I I didn't know we lost her. Oh no 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 no. Oh sorry. No no no. Dee Dee Khan is still around, but the person who played as one of Stacy's nephews is not still around. Oh. Funny enough, I was I. Funny enough, I looked up a. Let's see, I, funny enough, I looked up Stacy's other nephew, and he's still around and still in Hollywood. Um, speaking of the Mister Conductor thing, I been mean to ask. Um, do you think it'll ever be possible that we'll ever get to see the first one and the second one, and maybe I Bolden's Conductor brought to life in the Trains universe? Maybe possible. I mean, there is one program that I know of that can you create humans and that's make human in conjunction with blender it'd be, it'd be amazing yeah sure. yeah <laughs> that'd be amazing we could do that you know i mean uh didn't isn't that what ward in the west did with his models when he made um, the newer ones yeah the exact same program you know what i think we may have hit a gold mine oh yeah guys uh you know earlier one of you mentioned wilson the B one, Wilson. The B one. Yeah. yeah. Since, since he doesn't, did. since he doesn't actually have his own face pack at the moment. Uh, actually, I went ahead and just gave him Yellow Dash's face pack. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow Dash. I had him. I've got his model, by the way. He's another friend of mine. Yeah. Yeah. He's my, he's a he's a he's a close friend of mine too. 
So anyways, guys, yeah. oh, me too. Do you guys mind me, if I, I call them my? Hey, do you I guys mind if I my face tag right hand? <laughs> you go ahead. Don't you mean don't don't you mean your right face, man? Ah, get it, get it, get it. right I'm face good. instead of right hand. Anyways, uh, I'm. I hope you guys don't mind it, but I'm sharing my screen right now to see how Yellow Dash's faces look on Wilson. Whoa. I've got the, I try I try to get that like immersive, but uh wow. Oh, that's he looks fine. What do you think? Me. Uh, do, do you guys think these faces fit Wilson at all? I, I don't know, to be honest. That's hang on a second. I've been I've seen that like immersive. That's Gladstone, isn't it? Uh it's one of it's related to Gladstone, I think. It's yeah, Gladstone model. That's one of my favorite models. That's one of my favorite steam trains when I was growing up as a kid in the National Railway Museum. Uh, Scott, RJ, do you guys think this face fits Wilson at all? No. Um, Not really. <clears throat> no. no I, I, already, uh, I already designed Steve in Wilson's face template. Yeah, but he doesn't have a complete face pack yet. So it's just the one face he was stuck on staring into your soul for all eternity. But it's yeah. Sure and that. um i have like three models that i kind of like to show uh like oh, really? oh like, sure. I'll, I'll just keep i'll just keep it as yellow dash's faces until uh, a complete new face pack is made for wilson good all idea right. oh by the way chuck just to let you know i actually made contact with sam one you know and um yeah oh, I'm a sam? is I'm that Vinny? and there's a new garrett yeah and oh. i'm talking about on uh, Chuck's screen. I don't wish you talk yeah. about. Um, Chuck, 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 yeah. Chuck, I'm just looking Chuck, at Chuck. Chuck's screen. Chuck's screen. Chuck screen. That's amazing, Chuck. Hashima looks pretty accurate. Yeah, and Vinny, and Vinny looks good too. And I also and is that the right. turbo motor? <laughs> oh. Driving the wheels look pretty accurate themselves. That 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 red locomotive you got there, Chuck. I was going absolutely amazed when I saw that on DI. That was beautiful. Wait a minute, is that the turbo motive? Yeah, that's that's yeah. literally what I just said. <laughs> yeah. I right, say. Oh yeah, it's it, Chuck. Only took me a day to finish that. Oh yeah, hey Wait, Chuck, how, how's Merlin coming along? I remember you were making a Merlin model. Oh yeah, um, he's he's postponed for a while, but I plan to update him soon. You know, I've got to tell you this as well, Chuck. I I, I, I keep saying this a lot, but I think the turbine LMS locomotive, in my opinion, was the best model you've done by far. I'm just so impressed by how you accurate you made it. Welcome to the island of Sonar. Oh God, no! It's so. It's so right. Just be glad Brandon's not on the stream, all right? Because he'll be fiddling with our words. I oh, oh boy. Wait, who? Be glad who's not on the stream? Brandon. Brandon. Uh, hey, as my, uh, as my mate's calling Ginger oh. Jesus. Hey, uh, Chuck. I actually have uh, Merlin's whistle, so if you want, I can send it to you, so you can put it on Merlin. Yeah, I mean, go right ahead. Go ahead. I mean, Brandon's a cool dude. I, I'm just I actually, actually, I have, I actually, I actually have two versions of Merlin's whistles, so I'll send both of those to you, and then you can decide which one you want to use. All right. <laughs> I'm sending it, it to you through Discord. And right. there, there, there you go. Just sent it to you. Oh, it's Alfred. Right. Twelve boy. All right. I've got that. Hey, Chuck, I've got that version of um, of Alpha as well. I, I will admit, I prefer this one so um, quite a lot. It was, yeah, it was, it, it, was re it was released on. Uh, yeah. What was the site called? Dragonworks 3D, yeah. I'm one of the members on there. I saw yeah. your name, Chuck, on it. So I, I yeah, think I'm, you I'm still part of that team. I actually like this version of Alpha. It looks pretty Thanks accurate again. enough, so I'm using this version of him a lot. You might find this uh, funny, Chuck. Uh, earlier this past week, I was looking around on Google Images, and I found a mod of the N15Xs for transport transport fever. What? Uh, <laughs> no joke. Is this for real? Someone, is this real? Yeah, it's, 
It's in the Steam Workshop. Oh. Uh, oh, hey, that's the same. And that's the same model version that Nigel's based on, too. Yeah, Nigel, the J50. J50. Yeah, the J50. If you guys may or may not remember, at, at the time when uh, when Reverend Audrey is still around, it was Thomas was only was originally going to be a J50. Yeah, there he was. Yeah, I've got that model of him in a J50. It's a shambles. We didn't get the, you know the one that was in the uh, sort of workshops at the time. It's a shame that one was gone because I was going to get mm -hmm. that one originally. You know, before yeah. it went down. I, yeah, I have the J50 Thomas too, and holy crap, he looks shiny for me in 19. I mean, I've got his his other one. Plus, yeah. I don't have the one from trains uh, from sort of workshops. And then there was another RWS Thomas that was taken down as well. I I, I don't understand why they did that, you know, because they could have kept them for some reason. And Darwin Douglas got chopped off oh, as well. Hey, hey, you're making Connor. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. Finally, we'll have a proper Connor model to go with uh, Scott's coaches made for him. Yes, we will. Yeah, better than Mainline Studios' model. Yeah. That would I be agree. a hammering. Yeah. Why am I getting why am I getting two sided now in question? Nope. Oh, there's two J fifty. Oh. Oh, we I don't remember I don't recall any much any of us saying anything about Sam Scott. I thought I heard something. Oh no oh, no 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 Kane said San Juan. San Juan, you know like you know San Juan branch line? Yeah. The oh, Americans. Okay, I, I Sam Warren. Yeah, based. I did get that route originally. Apparently, that Chuck got, helped me find it, but unfortunately, it. I. Uh, it's did not the building numbers. In, except it. Uh, oh, it, it's a white right mess. Unfortunately, it won't work there. properly. I thought the road in the minute because I the thought the road of Sam Warren was private. It was now. Unfortunately, I, I even spoke to Dan. Uh, I think I spoke to Dan the exact and they said they speak that they're still trying to find him and uh, it's like a ghost route for them now but they've said at this point moment it's still um privatized at this point shambles really because i would love to have had so much fun in using that that route because there was just so much i could have had a lot of fun oh, speaking with it. Of which, i just saw craig i just saw craig yeah craig, Who's craig? Uh, craig. Something to uh, say, the, Canadian, boy? the canadian national mikado I thought it was yeah, um, speaking of ghosts. Oh yeah, actually, of... actually, speaking of ghosts, I uh, I re I recently got a uh, new model of the uh, the the ghost engine from uh, from the episode called Halloween. You know where Thomas and Emily go to the smelters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Wasn't that just simply? Right. Uh, wasn't yeah, it was a version of Gordon. Yeah, it was a modified. It was a It was a rusty version of Gordon with Murdoch cylinders. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, speaking of ghosts, I just had this. While I was while I was sleeping, I just had another what if story discovery. Oh. Well, well, the idea is that um, okay. Okay, um, the full story goes is that um, a, a close friend of Sir Topham Hatt, who, who is into ghost paranormal activity, senses something dangerous, and it's something that the mo most of the engines of Soda cannot handle by themselves. Yeah, really. Who are you going to call? It's probably, but, um, the, but that close friend of Sir Topham Hatt know their go know the ghost is gold, though. That living trains <laughs> and ghost trains would trade places, perhaps. Whoa. Well, I would see, like you can say they're gonna turn the rail, the island of Soto, inside out. Wow. <laughs> who are you? Who are you gonna call? Uh, the Ghostbusters. Not the Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now that gave me another. Yeah. Adding the Ghostbusters oh, concept that will give me another minute. idea. Of course. That would be awesome. And um, and to make it sound, Wait a minute. I'm not sure it's going to be more interesting or not, but the ghost that would intend to turn the railway inside out would use Thomas as a tool or something. Oh. Of course, they always go for Thomas because he's the main character. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. 
Like, to, Wait, to like be the honest, Ghostbusters uh, crossovering with House of Tank is that our Avengers? I actually can see that. To be oh, honest, man, if we knew Dan Aykroyd or. To, to be honest, Chuck, the ghost engines going after Thomas is a bit cliche. And like overrated, more like. Yeah, it's already been done quite. A, it's already been done quite a few times. One of those people who've done it just how happens to be right here. Yeah, that was yeah. right. Mm, so yeah. yeah, right. Like maybe well, maybe, okay. maybe you should have maybe you should have him go for another engine. Maybe an engine that ghost engines don't don't typically go after. Well, originally, uh, it's like, it's bad, 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 bad. but at the same time, this engine is of great importance. All I'm just trying right. to say is that originally in mind, originally like, like, Henry like, and Oliver would have been a full victim because like, of the numbering. Like maybe, I don't know, uh, Edward? I'm thinking Edward. I, I'm thinking Edward now. Yeah, yeah. I, that's, that's that's what I just said. Edward. <laughs> Edward, Edward the pacemaker of Sodor. <laughs> I don't care as long as I get to have it. You're calling him a no, pacemaker. I'm just, I'm just having a voice real love of one of the girls. Wait, you're just calling just Edward a pacemaker. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he is. I mean, <laughs> think about it. He Wait a minute. You called up. Edward a pacemaker because he's old. No, 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 no. Peacemaker. Peacemaker. Peace. Wait a minute. Peace. I'm just. Peacemaker. 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 Oh. Yeah, because he always, he's always, if you look in the old, yeah. in, in the old I story, he's yeah, always. Yeah, 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 I can understand why you thought he said pacemaker, a accent barrier. <laughs> That's so right. I mean, uh, if we were to call yeah. an engine a pacemaker, it probably be to either Glenn, if we were to call any engine pacemaker, uh, it would probably be Glenn and Stephen. On. I th I thought a pacemaker meant like you you can go reasonably fast. <laughs> like like you know like, like when I hear the word pacemaker, <laughs> like no, the, reason, the reason the reason why I'm saying this is because of uh you know how okay who here has heard of the New York Central Railroad? Oh, yeah, yeah I have. well the New York Central Railroad. The New York Central Railroad at one point had a uh, had an express passenger service called the Pacemaker. They did, yeah. So and yeah, the, yeah. Uh, and the Twenty Century Limited, and the Empire State Express. Mm. Well, I just realized something. Uh, bo both both uh, both services, the uh, the Twenty Century Limited and the Empire State Express, both were pulled by J three A's. Indeed, oh, like Even... Drake Hudson's. So um, that leads one to wonder. Not... Which of those did Connor pull when he used to work on the New York Central? Uh, hmm. Like you could that argue could either. actually be an interesting story because if Rod, it would. I mean, like if Roger went to the United States in the fifties, we could actually. Oh, well, yeah, if we went to the United, it, since Roger went to the United States for the first. Uh, hey, actually, since went to the United States first, and about 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 that, uh, I'm I'm pretty sure he, I guess he would have met Mark there too, because he was in the U.S. at that time as well. Didn't any of the New York Niagara's take that train as well? The exact same limited or whatever it was, like the Broadway Limited as well. Um, the Broadway Limited was owned by the Pennsylvania Railroad. Oh, because there was another one besides the uh, 20th Century Limited. There was another train that the. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was the. Um, uh, it was the pacemaker, wasn't it? No, no, it wasn't the pacemaker. It was a. Hold on. It was another one. NYC Niagara. But let. <laughs> I, I'm I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. Because I know the Niagara is, uh, took some um, fast mail as well, and they did like fast. It's got too. um. Yes, oh, RJ. And Scott, Roderick didn't visit the United States in the 60s. You're thinking that he first visited the States in the 50s. Then he went over to the States in the 80s. Pretty much, you have to realize he's been to the U.S. on multiple occasions, not just once. Huh. Kind of this, remember, I've told you this on multiple occasions. I thought you told me that it was the 60s. The 60s, then the 80s. Uh, nope, 50s. 
It could have been. A, I pretty much I did say that he did make a second trip, small trip, when Flying Scotsman visited the states back in the sixties. <laughs> nice. Well, actually, you know what? If you guys do a flashback on that, and if Flying Scotsman does a pop in, that'd be quite nice. The only thing I would like have done change to him. You know, I know Wild in the West did a hell of a good job on his American look, but the the only thing I would like to see him do, which would which which, which actually would work, is if you know having his face packed on, but have his headlamp shine and his his bell actually animated, almost like in almost like in K and L style, to be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, just think about that. Um, it, I'm, it, could you, could you imagine if KNL actually did that for an exclusive? For some like reason, I can't seem to find Chuck on. For some reason, I can't seem to find Chuck on Discord. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to find uh, what kind of train the Niagara. I yeah, I'm oh. pretty sure the Niagara's just pulled uh, other passenger and freight services that don't didn't really have a name. It's funny because whenever we speak, when anybody rail fans talk about the New York Central, the Hudson's and Niagara's come to mind, and then everybody just goes talking about them because they were respective icons of that railroad. I mean, even Chuck and I at one point spoke about them for a while back a few years ago, and we spoke with the old, with the old crew guys I was around with, and that, and they were talked about quite a lot because it's a shame, shame that none of them ever, never got preserved because, in my opinion. They were among the best. And yeah, and then when Andrew Brenner came around, he introduced Connor and Caitlin. Well, Connor is a New York engine. Uh, Caitlin is actually from the Baltimore and Ohio. She was based off of the Royal Blue engine. Oh, nice. Well, we all know Hank's a former Pennsylvania locomotive, as we yeah, all he, know. Yeah, he, yeah, he's a K4. Yeah, Pennsylvania K4. Ironically enough, that's the his wheel configuration. Configuration, which is actually the first top thing that's what led to Flying Scotsman's design, because yeah, grossly based his wheel arrangement off of a K4. Wait, 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 I just had a thought. I just had a thought. What if Hank is older than Gordon? What if Hank is older than Scotsman and Gordon? Hmm, the K4s did come along before. Uh, I don't know. I mean. Think about it. Well, Gordon is. wasn't the first Pacific um, built in the. In no, 20s. Gordon wasn't the first Pacific built in the UK. That that was Russell, aka the Great Bear. Yeah, we all know. Oh, oh no, okay, but like, still, still, what if Hank is older than Gordon? He could be. He could be. Now, then that would, then no that one would, will ever know. That, 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 would, that would also explain how Hank is wiser than Gordon and Scotsman. Mm -hmm. Anyways, guys, I, I, I let's end the end the writing session and stream here. Is that okay? That's uh, all right. Okay. All right. It's really being cool. This stream's definitely been unique. I will I will admit it's definitely mm -hmm. been a fun one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Again, Great thanks for letting me pop on. Yeah, but thanks, thanks for having us, guys. It's Thanks really been a on. blast. Thanks for coming on. I, I, I wouldn't mind coming up again another time. Thanks for bringing yeah, me in, RJ. Yeah, yeah, it's been honest yeah. speaking to you, um, yeah, yeah, Scott. This, this, yeah, no this is, um, it, oh, any time. Not at all. And, uh, and also, Chuck, if you can hear this, despite you're muted, it's an honor to hear you again after so long, man. Thanks for popping in. You guys have made my night. God bless you guys. Take care. Later, guys. See ya. Bye-bye, everyone.